Hey YouTube, it's Mouth Lips Reptiles. Today is going to be a feeding video where we're going to try to show you the difference of how a Gaboon Viper eats versus how a Rattlesnake eats. We're going to talk through each one of those, but that does mean we are going to be feeding animals to other animals. And yes, we do feed live here. No, this isn't a chance to discuss that. Uh, I mean, you can if you want, but we're not going to pay any attention to it. But if you don't want to see something like this get eaten, then you shouldn't watch this video. Uh, now, one thing I do want to address, and I, and I don't know where this comes from, I have some ideas. But we've been had people say, especially here and on our TikTok, about if you don't follow us on TikTok, you probably should. We do a lot of feed stuff that, oh my God, you're feeding puppies or dogs to snakes. No, we're not. This is a young rat. There is a size of rat referred to as a pup. Uh, that would be bigger than this. This isn't a pup yet. But the only time you'll ever hear like us with something that even sounds dog-like is if we're referring to a, a rat pup. Uh, but no, <laughs> nobody here at Olympus feeds anything to our snakes other than rodents. We strictly use rodents for everything. Um, I don't have any snakes that won't eat rodents and that's all we use, just rodents. I can't believe I even have to address that, but there it is, we do, just rodents. So first we're gonna try feeding this to our young Gaboon Viper. Now she is in sheds, so we'll see how this goes. I want you to pay attention to this and we'll kind of walk you through it as we do it. So it's time to feed the Gaboon. The hook is just to get the prey closer since it's off of visual. Uh, they do not have heat pits. So they need that movement to really see the strike. And there it is, bam. So let's look at what these things do that's different. For one, you're gonna notice right away that that Gaboon Viper is holding its bite, right? So it's not letting go, it's gonna hold on to that. And it's gonna usually do that until the prey item dies. Now I won't do it every time. I have seen Gaboons let go. Uh, typically when they let go, I will find a shed fang or I will find one in the poop if I look. Uh, now what you're seeing is the classic Gaboon behavior. This bite's a little more towards the back and a little less in the middle, which is what I typically see, but you know, beggars can be choosers. But you're going to see that Gaboon lift that rat up off the ground, hold it in the air, and it does this because it doesn't really like to move from its spot. So this is going to be a prey item that is going to be very easy to catch. It's not going to go anywhere. So it's going to hold it up there, never let it go. Now there's no point sitting here and watching this video and just watching a rat suffer. So we're going to go ahead and cut this. Uh, but before we do, because there's so much data that we're going to be in here, this video is going to be so long, we're actually going to break this and the rattlesnake feeding up into two videos. So make sure you're watching for our next video, which will be the Western Diamondback. But now let's cut this and see what this thing does after the rat dies. So now we're going to see this Gaboon Viper start the process of swallowing. So this rodent is deceased, and if you notice what it's doing, is it looks like it's trying to swallow it sideways, but it's not. It's actually moving the rat in its mouth. So again, it doesn't typically let its prey go. It doesn't let its prey all the way on the ground. So it's going to sit there and by using a sideways motion with its jaw, move it around until it can get it in a position that it wants to swallow. Typically that's head first. But uh, I, I have seen them take it butt first. I don't usually generally go huge meals for my Gaboons. So head first is not always a guarantee. We're going to let this run. And again, this rat is already deceased at this point. So there is no suffering going on. Uh, there, that, that part's already gone. It's not feeling any pain. But those fangs will act almost like a holding point And it kind of conveyor belts it through as it kind of moves it and, and takes care of business. So let's just watch for a few minutes and I'm actually going to shut up and just let you enjoy this part of nature. <laughs> 